Hello viewers, welcome to Women's View. My name is Anne Moremi, I'm your host. Uh, it's always a pleasure when you join us and uh, we really, really uh, encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because uh, our shows are now live on YouTube. The handle is GBS Kenya. We also still have the SMS line, the number is 21144. So in studio today, I have a very special guest with me. Yesterday, we started a topic uh, where we were discussing romantic relationships at work, at the workplace. And it was a very, very, uh, very interesting discussion with lots of feedback from a lot of viewers. And so we're doing part two today. Before we get into the topic, I'd like to give a chance to the guest to introduce herself. Welcome. Thank you very much, Anne. Nice to see you again. And the topic continues, right? Right, that's true. <laughs> okay. My name is Josephine, Josephine Irungu. I work with Preston HR Engine. Preston HR Engine is a HR consulting firm that we deal with matters related to HR and we enable com companies to propel. Welcome to the yeah. show. Thank you. You bring Thank with you. you a wealth of experience because before you, you're the founder of HR, you're yes. the founder and CEO. You know, you forgot to mention that you're the founder <laughs> and CEO of Pristine HR. That's and right. And before that, you have worked at a lot of corporate uh, entities, yes. uh, including multinational companies. Yes. So the thing that we're talking about is very relevant here today mm -hmm. because you have come across a lot of scenarios yes. and you're able to educate my viewer on the dangers, yes. the pros and cons. Of because course. Of you course. know, everything has pros and cons. Yes, everything has. So, uh, romantic relationships at the workplace. Very Yesterday, hot topic. <laughs> yeah, very, very hot topic because it's a reality that yes, it, it a, happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. We cannot hide away yes. from it. And yesterday we were able to establish the fact that there's some companies that are against it and have mm. a policy against it, yet there are companies that are for it. Yes. Okay, or that are quiet about it. They're quiet about it. Yeah. Yes. Not that they are for it. <laughs> okay, they are quiet about it. It's more or less they allow. It's yes. only that they are not broadcasting and uh, putting all the banners left, right, center that uh, we are embracing love in the office. Exactly. But they are quiet about it. So we're, go we're going to continue from there. Yesterday we looked at a lot of neg negative uh, the cons of it. Mm. And I wonder if there are any pros. Today, mm -hmm. I think in the conversation, we're going mm. to try and look for a few pros. Mm. But before we get into that, let's look at the different scenarios mm -hmm. that lead to romantic relationships at the workplace. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that. Um, I'll think of a scenario whereby we are having millennials at workplace. These uh -huh. are young people yes. who are, who are you know, they're so energetic. They're out there, especially to experiment. They are just new in the industry, new in uh -huh. the organization. They want to learn about the organization. And uh, they now meet people who are experienced in the field. Yes. Uh, in the field where they want to learn the skills and all that, yeah. yeah. And uh, these are scenarios whereby an organization will be holding events. For example, if you're talking... Uh, I'll, I'll pull a group of like sales and marketing people, for example. Yes. Yeah, an organization is holding an event and mm -hmm. all that, ha having the happy hours. And you find the, there is that extension time. Exactly. And in the event, they get to meet other people. Yeah, to so mingle. Getting that, uh, yes. yes, to mingle, yeah. So getting into such a setup, they want really to experience, to experience, to experiment what is it that happens all over. Exactly. And uh, they, find, they find themselves in a romantic relationship. Yes. For me, at times, for that scenario, for me, I'll call it, they find themselves in a situation Exactly. That is involved situation in yeah, situation shifts. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> that it is involving a, a romance in it and all that. And uh, now it's driven back to the office mm -hmm. after maybe the such events, after having uh, an event outside of any um, even team building there, activities, the team building activities, the overnight so ones, like yes. you go away for a weekend. And yes. you see, the aim in that case. What is the aim of a team building? The aim of a team building is to bring together the team yes. to get to realize. Of course, they know they know the, they know the gap. Yes. For example, a gap would be lack of proper communication. Yes. A gap would be lack of teamwork. Mm -hmm. So a team building should be customized to have activities whereby these gaps are worked on. Exactly. So that during the debriefing, they get now to angle it to to. Uh, um, like communication, what is, after there a certain activity has been done in the team building, yes. what is it that people have learned? Yes. Yeah. So it is gelled towards the gap, what mm -hmm. the company is experiencing, and now it is sealed. Yes. And dur uh, during the team building, you'll find um, the departments don't uh, work together, or rather, they are not put in the same group. Yes, that's yeah? true. They're mm -hmm. not, so, such that a facilitator will come up with um, a way of making sure that people don't fall in the same group yes. if they work in the same department. Okay. So, come what may the 
people will get to know one another. Yes. That's the aim of the team building, to work on a certain theme. Exactly. Yes. And you see, it is at such events, sometimes that you find uh, this romantic feelings yes. developing to somebody mm -hmm. just because you 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 you're going away so you're having lots of free time right yes yeah so we also seminars as well yeah oh yes that's yes true. Trainings. When companies, the trainings mm -hmm. the seminar the workshops that organizations organize they send yes. people out there they get now to know one another very well mm -hmm. because I tend to I tend to think uh, the, an organization will not send two people in the same department who will do the work who will be left exactly. to do the work all right yes. so they will pick people from different departments to attend a certain one workshop okay. and it depends from there yes so it now depends with the objective of this particular couple let me call them as a couple yeah, or <laughs> yes. these parties yes. what is it that they want to achieve yeah is exactly. it that they just want to find themselves in situationship or mm -hmm. a relationship that leads to something bigger okay yes so those are the different scenarios another scenario that we talked about earlier is where you find yourself maybe mm. you are an employee uh, in a certain city and your family is not Yes, distance. Distance, distance yeah. Like if you're distance. in a long distance relationship. Yes, distance. And it could be distance whereby um, these are people, I imagine these are people who are married. Yes. Yes. So that uh, as uh, one of the spouses is sent to a different town. Exactly. Yeah, sent to yes. a different town. It could be sent to a different town to stay there or rather uh, relocate to a different town. Yes. Others are sent for an, to an assignment. They just go for an assignment. For a short, a for short, a short period of time. Exactly. While there are things happen and so forth, it mm. could it, maybe it's with a colleague. If at all they have been sent to a certain branch, exactly. If it is a certain branch, it yes. is an organization that have uh, branches all over. Mm -hmm. So distance as well because of uh, certain assignments. Yeah, that's also would lead to romance at work. Yes. Um, it could also be during the meetings, so that every now and then you hang around together. Mm -hmm. Actually, to yeah. be honest, because of the amount of hours that we spend at the workplace, at work place, exactly. the scenarios are so they are just yes. so many. So you know, it can even happen in the so kitchen when you're making coffee yes. you start finding that when you're ready for your tea if your tea break is maybe 10 to 10 30 you tend to go around 10 10 maybe yeah, you want to make yeah. a cup of coffee and then someone starts seeing a pattern then you start noticing that oh whenever i go that's someone who's having a brush exactly somebody's <laughs> always coming right yes. so i think the scenarios that could lead to workplace romance are just vast yeah it could even be in the parking lot i mean honestly yeah, yeah. jump starting oh yeah maybe my car has stolen and i need yes, to jump start and to jump start. so you jump start at that point and you continue jump starting <laughs> and then my car w w has stolen and you, we live you live on the same route so yes. I, I ask for a ride yeah so you start jump starting there and you'll carry on with the jump starting and you find yourself you're jump starting the <laughs> two of you and <laughs> you're exactly. jump starting everything so it, it yes. seems to me that the, the the way that this romantic relationship started work is very it's, like unplanned yes. it's very unplanned. random yes Sometimes you, ca you actually cannot see it coming. You just find yourself in that situation. Exactly. So do you, in your experience, have you ever actually had a, a candid conversation either with a lady mm. or a gentleman mm. who is having such a situation is, is trying either to ask for your advice, mm -hmm. either to exit mm -hmm. or to continue? Mm. Yes, I've happen? had a candid conversation. Mm -hmm. And um, this was a lady, mm -hmm. a, a female employee uh, who came to me and told me, asked me, Josephine, do we have a policy that uh, uh, that's talk about, it was one of the organizations that I was working with by okay. then, mm -hmm. that uh, do you have a, is there a policy yes. that, um, no, there was a policy, so she was like, she had read the policy. She had actually read it. Yes, so she, she found herself policy, in an interesting But now situation. there's this uh, male employee, her colleague, yes. now who every now and then she, he was asking for outs. Okay. Asking they meet. Asking for they asking out for, for lunch. Dates, asking for they, had, they had even met for coffee dates and so forth. Mm -hmm. But now where she was at, she yes. more or less she was already in it. Yes. But now what will people say? Yeah, what happens true. after this? Mm -hmm. That was her question. What happens after this? And I told I told her to come along with a so-called male friend. I also want to know. But you see, I had <laughs> really? heard of the rumor. You know, already there was. Oh, well, yes, already true. there was that. Yeah. But I told her to come along with it. And I asked the gentleman. The gentleman was like, "Yeah, we have had dates. We have met outside and so mm -hmm. forth." But now the conversation was more of let them when they come at work, let them separate. Exactly. Let yeah, them, because let, the the gentleman, the mm -hmm. um, male staff had had uh, had the um, it's called what, the the gossip. 
Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe also the, the chick the had lady heard. The lady yes. heard mm -hmm. it. So the guy was like, yes, I have heard. Yes, I've been told mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So the thing, our discussion was pegged on what is it that they need to do so that at least the conflict can, uh, or rather the there rumors, are, the rumors can be quieted. Yes, can be, yes. 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 But um, uh, fortunately, I left the organization. I don't know whether they are together or not. Ah, okay. But so, yes. so basically, you do encourage uh, colleagues. Yes. If you find yourself in such a situation, it's good to actually bring in HR, really? Bring in HR. Why is it HR going to be short? Because Matthew, not that the HR doesn't know. Oh, the HR probably already knows. Someone the rumors who knows are everything that happens in the organization is the HR. People it's only the HR who knows <laughs> <laughs> what is under your bed. I feel like that is so, The like... HR knows everything. Mm -hmm. And it calls for HR to be very, very confidential yes, with, that's with such matters yes. because uh, even before you come uh, before you come and tell the HR that there's this guy who is hitting on me there's this uh, lady who is hitting on me there's this lady who wants one two three four from me already the HR will know yeah from the because group the, rest of the, the information know. has already and you trickled. know how it starts the conversation says hey HR umeskia it continues <laughs> Have you heard about so and so? Ah, Have you noticed? Ones together. Yes. I have heard you want to punish so and so. Do you know so and so is a friend, is a girlfriend or a boyfriend to so and so oh person? My God. Yeah, uh, so oh, be careful. Okay, tell me more about oh. it. Now that I don't know, tell me more about it. Uh -huh. So that it, it comes in as um, they alert the HR. Yes. And that's how it's always good when you're in such a uh, situation, let mm -hmm. the HR know because conflicts will happen. Yeah, they never So, is. how will the HR back you up? Not back you up in terms of defend you and but all not that. be caught off guard. Yes, not yeah, to be caught off guard. Exactly. Because, of course, that now will be, it will be harder mm -hmm. because, of course, the HR will now have to click on the, what the policy says. Exactly. Yeah. But, but before then, the mm -hmm. HR has already prepared herself. Yeah. And he, she knows the people. Yes, and she, before that, the HR will be able to work with one of the parties or even both of them, okay. especially if one is not performing very well. Yeah, in yeah. The, in, one uh, is not performing very well, and whoever is hitting on you is someone in a different department. And maybe they're Whereas performing also well. your boss mm -hmm. has been hitting on you, but you don't want anything to do with your boss. Yeah. Oh you my know? God. So when the HR is aware lucky. of all these, mm -hmm. there's a way a HR, like th that's my experience, there's a way I would cut across and get to reach to the head of the department, not to discuss the issue, but to make sure that uh, I, I bring in something that I have noted on someone in terms yes. of her performance, mm -hmm. goods on the good side, not the bad side, exactly. so that not the head of the department or the supervisor will bring it out. That's what you think. This person is not even performing because of one, two, three, four, and so forth. And then, so the head of the department will now open up, yes. and now I get to learn that, oh, so you know, and that's where more or less you are, quote, unquote, mistreating this particular Person, and yeah. now we get to talk and we get now to make amends even without the person knowing. Okay, yes. yeah. So there's a lot that the HR can actually come, a lot of intervention that the yes. HR can do. Yes. But you know what I'm thinking, even before you approach the HR, mm. so in your experience, do romantic relationships at work, are they worth that, you know, worth that sort of uh, intervention? Because once <laughs> you do that, and then... Let's say shortly after yes. you have this huge argument and the relationship is no yes. longer working. Now you've already put it out there. Yes. I mean, do you approach HR when it's serious or at the at what stage when it's beginning? You know, because you remember yesterday what everybody I, will keep coming to you. Oh, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Yes. This has happened. The feelings are always there. You'll feel today. You'll feel tomorrow. tomorrow you'll feel every, you'll even feel when you're sleeping, different. you're feeling. Yes. So <laughs> you'll also be burdening <laughs> the HR with a lot of non-related issues. More or less, that's what HR we are for. But anyway. <laughs> You remember yesterday I said um, it's good for an organization to have a consensual agreement. Yes. Where if you find yourself you are in this situation and it has taken like two months, it's always good to talk it out. That's true. Yeah, let the yes. HR know that this is happening. You don't know where it's leading to, of course you don't know. Yeah. Because if it was leading somewhere, yes. you will not be broadcasting and people will not be knowing. Exactly. It will be done under waters. Mm -hmm. yeah? So let the HR know if it has really taken long so that uh, by the time the rumors are coming or the yes. HR is getting to know the rumors, she knows how to handle Yes, that's true. Yes, so it's always good to speak it out. So, 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 quite a few times in the media, we've read about uh, colleagues who have been caught mm. in funny corners mm. doing. Uh, mm. You know, nowadays also companies have CCTV, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sometimes uh, either in the heat of the moment, either people forget. So we've heard of situations where <laughs> uh, people forget. I don't. I think people <laughs> either forget or, or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you find that. Mm. Uh, uh, a scenario has come up where two people have been caught in uh, questionable uh, circumstances. Mm, compromising. And, uh, yeah, mm. compromising situations, and they are fired. Yes. Is it, is, that, is it okay to be fired if you're caught up in such a situation, or is it something that as an employee you should uh, take it up with HR mm -hmm. and fight 
Is it your right? Or? Of course, if you are found in uh, uh, at funny corners, these corners were not created for you. Of course. Oh, not so how are you even finding yourself <laughs> in such corners? You know that this That's room, <laughs> storage rooms, final uh, these rooms. These are people who don't have self-control. Yes. These are people who don't have self-control. Yes. And uh, when romance, when romantic uh, relationship happen at work, mm. and this is not to the viewers, let people have self control. That's true. Yeah, mm. let both parties have self control. Professionalism. Yeah, in the we don't have goats and cows and sheep at workplaces. These yes. are people who have brains. Yes. So it's They're always humans. good. Uh, yeah, the, it's always good to have self control. Yes. So if, if you are found at the corner and now it has reached to a point that now you have to be fired, you may end up being fired. But what I'll advise the organization uh, and the employers at this point and also the HR is, of course, engage a process towards mm. um, uh, firing. But firing a person or terminating a person should be the last resort. Yes. Talk to these people. Mm. Let them speak out. That's right. Of course, you already know. If they are found at funny corners, what were they doing? They were not discussing a certain report. There's something they were doing. <laughs> yeah? They said something, and they are smart in their heads. Uh, it's only it's that at that particular time... report. <laughs> It's only that at that particular time they are not discussing. <laughs> they are mine. They are not discussing. <laughs> know, their mind is not controlling yes, them, right? That's true. But no, they get to, you know, they, 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 they get to discuss what is it that has been happening and uh, why should they be found on funny corners, yeah? Yes, yes. So it's a matter of just getting a break, mm -hmm. yeah, getting a break. Mm -hmm. Let them also know that they have been known because CCTVs are all over. Yeah, and well, not well, that yes. by the time they go to f those funny corners, they don't know CCTVs are there. CCTVs are there. They know. It's they just know. That they, it's they have actually the lack self -control. of self-control. Yes, yeah. that's that lack of self-control. Yes. And um, let them go through a disciplinary uh, process, but mm -hmm. the disciplinary process to my view, it should not really be straight to firing. Okay. Yeah. Terminating someone's services, my advice is let termination be last resort. Yeah. Of course, they have broken a rule, but uh, talk to them. Yes, that's true. Because how you treat this particular couple or this, sorry, this particular, the two people mm. will create message? precedence on the rest. Exactly. So more or less, it's like you are saying you should not have relations, which is true. You will communicate that, yes. but you're not going to control. Yeah, people you still have, control, co yeah, yeah but you, you, people. So uh, someone will just go and plug the CCTV and they continue doing your thing. I don't think that's what investors want. No. So it's about talking it out and let the people know that what they're doing is uh, unethical yes. and how, what is it that they need to do or how should they carry themselves. And that's where, if you remember yesterday, uh, what we discussed is let there be a lot of training, yes. maybe quarterly and yes. so, on how to go about uh, romance or relationship. Uh, in this case, how should people carry themselves when it comes to relationship yes. that is having some, uh, some what, some feelings in it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you know, it's interesting because a lot of times the training sessions and the seminars that uh, the company will engage for mm. staff mm. are very related to the work. Yes. So if you're in finance, it's something to do with finance. Yes. If you're in sales, it's yes. something on how to improve sales. And a lot of times we forget that a lot of these internal things, these kind of relationships, mm. affect the productivity of staff. They do. And so do. it's good actually to encourage HR to think about such trainings, such seminars, where you're actually like uh, giving the staff emotional IQ. Like, you, you yes, know? yes. Because when it comes to being caught in funny corners, that's an issue of self control. Mm, mm. And an issue of self control is not something that can be captured. It's not mm. a part of your job description, mm. yet it's something mm. that is so important for mm. you. And so I think that the HR uh, practitioners need to think about giving soft skills mm. also mm. in mm. relation with the other technical training, yes. you know? Yes, yes, and Because yes. it's important. Because these, important. Things are, these things are becoming more and more open. When you look at our society, yeah. you're finding that there's a lot of uh, stuff going on. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I also want to also bring to you, maybe discuss about yeah. social media. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you find departmental, de department WhatsApp groups. Yes. And so people's personal numbers have been given, yes. have been shared. Uh -huh. It is important that policies be in place. Yes. Right? Very important. And that's what we, we said yesterday. yesterday. It's very yeah. important to have policies in place mm -hmm. that, uh, that uh, will, of course, stipulate what is it that needs the, on the measures. Yeah. Because if you find yourself in a relationship, yes. whether it's a situation, <laughs> <laughs> but it is a romantic, George, uh, a romantic no, no. relationship, how should you carry yourself? Yeah. Because there are those relationships that have thrived. Are there actually? Yes. I wanted actually to ask that because it they seems that there. the more we have this conversation, we keep going to negative things. Negative things. Yes. Tell us in your experience, are there any uh, scenarios where there's been something very fruitful that has come yes, out of yes, a, yes, a yes. relationship? Yes, yes, yes. There are scenarios. Yes, they are there. 
um, there are uh, testimonies where guys have known one another and they start living uh, together and they are working at the same place. Mm -hmm. And most of them, in fact, they don't bring their issues. Even you can't know mm -hmm. uh, these are husband to to the, other. To, the, yeah. to the other you can't even tell okay yeah because they have learned how they know why they met they know they even have children oh, so wow, in fact awesome. i was in this particular organization where i got to know uh these are a couple during um it was a family we had organized a family event ah. where employees will bring in their dependents the, yes. the spouses the children mm -hmm. and all that yeah and I got to know that this is a couple. They were, they, and Maku, they were working in a production uh, department. Which means that all along, they were so mature. All along, exactly. They were able to separate issues yes. so well. You'll never, 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 mm. never hear of any conflict. And they are working in the same department. These are not two different people, uh, people working in different departments. Same department. Production department. Wow. And they had two children. Kudos to them, wherever they are. <laughs> they and they had you. two children. <laughs> They and children, the they, yes, they had they then they had two children. Maybe yeah. they added if they're active enough. Yeah. Maybe they added another <laughs> one or even two. And the MD knew about it. Ah, okay. The MD knew about it. Yeah. But you will never find them even in the canteen. Yeah. And never found them even even in the canteen. And if I told them they, they just take their tea or they go. Exactly. They have schedules to take care of. Because another yeah. thing that I because was actually, So the relationship yeah. thrive. Mm -hmm. But uh, at times where I don't know why at times when it comes to um, to workplace uh, relationship, people have different. They just want to find themselves to what is it to experiment. Yeah, they want to experiment. That's the larger and that is percentage. What, yes, and yes. it leads for for those who are married. It leads not to a mar uh, family breaking. Like exactly. yesterday, mm. that's what we were talking about. Yes, families break. Marriages don't exist anymore because, because you see, you're not forced at the workplace to 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 disclose your marital status. You're not forced to wear your veil. Yes, you so can as well is, keep quiet. Exactly, mm. it is very possible to get into a relationship and the person you're relating with has no idea that you're exactly. married. Exactly, yeah, has no idea. Yeah. You'll only get to know. <laughs> <laughs> when Tell the us, spouse the exactly. spouse comes at work and you'll be like, let us discuss <laughs> that because it is something else that is becoming quite common, uh, and I'm sure you have you have come across yes, that scenario uh -huh, uh -huh. where an aggrieved spouse storms the office. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, like there's this one particular time, um, there's a lady who stormed the office at the reception. Mm -hmm. And uh, few people knew about, uh, few people knew who she is. Yes. Because their spouse, their husband worked in sales department. Ah, okay. So it's only oh. the sales guys who knew her. Exactly. But not the office people didn't know her. Yes. So she came in, and she came in as a guest. She looks she, like a client. Yes. She <laughs> talked to the security at the gate. She left her ID there. She came at the reception. I would like to see, she showed the picture. I would like to see this lady. Oh. Mm -hmm. So the front mm -hmm. office uh, lady admin was like, uh, do you know her? I don't know her, but I want to know her today. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, so already, do you know her name? Because uh -huh. I, so, okay, the front of his admin, uh, the lady played with her mind. Do you yeah. know her name so that I, I call the extension, I get exactly. to know the department. Yes. Because here company. we are many. This, yeah. <laughs> you have to be smart. Yeah, she was smart. <laughs> yes. She was like, uh, yes, I know her name. So she removed the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the screen and she was like, no, this is the name. She's called so-and-so, call her for me. So mm. the front office admin was like, oh no, what is this? What am I going to do? What because now what I'm you know, seeing... You're trying to be professional. Yes. Well, she's asking for your name. What yes. is it about? <laughs> what is it about? <laughs> was she aware you're coming? No, she was not aware. Oh, okay. But so-and-so was aware. That so and so is not the husband. Oh my okay, I don't know. Uh, she, I, I don't know what whether she, he was aware. <laughs> whether he, whether he was aware or not. But oh my now, God. <laughs> oh, that was a very yes. Tricky situation. And now, very dicey, and yeah. now the front admin was now too busy to attend to her. Oh yeah, she. Calls she were did. coming in. Of yeah, course, she, she, was tried, she was trying to ignore to her. buy time. Or how am I going to go uh, about this? And uh, now she became very uh, furious, and she was like, "I'm not here to. I'm not here to stay for a whole oh, day. No, you're keeping me waiting. Yeah, you're you keeping me waiting." No, she opened up and she was like, you know what, madam, yeah. this person has been sleeping with her husband. I have the messages. I have this and this. Wow. I've talked with the hus my husband. He, he keeps uh, denying, saying mm -hmm. they don't work together and the messages is all about the office and so forth. So I'm not leaving this place until I, I meet her. I want to have a conversation with her. So mm -hmm. I, so remember, the I remember the, the lady asked, <laughs> I remember the front admin, uh, the front of his admin asked her, have you tried to call her and talk about it? Well, like, I don't have time to waste to call. That's why I've come. I've brought myself. Face to face, no call. Face to no face. Face. So, yes, scenarios are there. Wow, scenarios are really there yeah. to a point where even, um, <laughs> even babies something. are born in the same entity. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you've got, oh, dear. Yeah, you know, like you'll hear, there, there's this joke that goes around um, companies that uh, 
I hear these two people, I, I hear that pregnancy is for so-and-so. Yeah. Because they have been having a thing. And Makiu, this is someone who is married. Yeah. Well, that's the thing because yeah, I thought that the all thing. along so the rumors, we're talking about maybe the millennials and no, they're looking no, no, forward no, no, to getting no. married but it looks like of course even they're married the exactly even yeah. they're married it happens so it, it happens so they'll be like ages. I hear that pregnancy is for so and so so the mm. joke is let's wait and see whose nose it, it will be <laughs> whose nose <laughs> <laughs> So people yeah, are looking forward know? to going yes, to visit. to visit. You think so they're coming you can... to see you and your child, but no. So that they confirm whether now the, what we oh, had or what not. we were seeing of them, this is the product, no. you know. Boundaries need to be yes. established. So also, boundaries think, need to yeah. be established and of course self-control. Yes, Of course self-control. And it's always good for colleagues, uh, both male and female, to get to discuss. And that's where now the team building comes into play, to get mm. to discuss uh, their marital status. Because the HR will know. Yeah, the HR actually has all the information. He has all the information. And you know what, if you, if you, I think it's okay if, okay, is that information confidential? Because if there's somebody who is hitting on me, I'm at the workplace and I can't tell their status and mm. maybe I've asked and they, they, I'm suspicious. Mm, mm, because mm, nowadays, mm. It, a lot of people don't disclose. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay to go to HR and ask for that information? I'll say it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay to, uh, okay to go to HR because by the time okay, you're going to closed, HR, yeah. by the time you're going to HR, you really want to know. You'll open up to the HR. Yeah. I'm looking at it that way. That you'll come and tell me. Uh, you'll come and tell me, Josephine, there is this and this. Of course, maybe Josephine has heard about it, but you'll come and tell me there is this particular guy. I suspect he has a family. Please confirm to me whether he has a family or not. Yeah. I wouldn't want to get myself into it and so forth. Mm. So I mean, it's confidential, yes. But as far as the information I have, have you asked him? He tells me maybe no. Yes. He doesn't have. But mm. what I see and so for they suspect he has mm. it's always good for HR to open up a year he has a family and leave it at that exactly just not the name of the wife disclose the fact yes Dis and not yes disclose more. the fact yeah. no more it's in terms of the wife is called so and so they even have children they even ah, have, they no, even no, live no. at this that particular time much. that's yeah. no that is overstepping that's overstepping yeah absolutely. yeah mm -hmm. let it be so uh straight to point you want to know whether he's married or not yes he's married well, he, he's married or not. as per the records the last time he wrote about it he was single so I'm, i don't know whether he's married you know or it's so interesting you know, that so open it <laughs> it's so interesting that you keep talking about he, 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 he. And I'm wondering, is it only <laughs> men who lie about their status? Are ladies, there ladies who um, do? Or ladies, who yeah. ladies lie. Boy showered issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, even girl showered, but <laughs> but I'm looking at it. Maybe this um, a lady comes in. She never had a child and so forth. You know, ladies at times it's not easy. It's not easy to hide, especially if I you know, have a child. Exactly. Sometimes because uh, again, having a child doesn't mean you are, you are married. Exactly. That's true. Yeah. Akin will come and you'll yes. be attending to either uh, exactly. a school issue. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, another thing that I wanted us to to, to talk about is uh, the issue of. Uh, uh, protection, protecting mm -hmm. yourself because we talked about a situation where you can find that even in a company mm. a lot of people are having the same kind of diseases mm. uh, you know, that is something that has, has, has actually mm. been, been known yeah. and uh, I don't know whether we should actually discuss it yeah, shoot <laughs> <laughs> tell us about it because you actually talked about it yesterday but after the show um, such cases are there in organizations, especially, mm -hmm. not as, I wouldn't say especially, but maybe the high, uh, highest percentage is with um, uh, manufacturing companies, yes. maybe, because they, are, they have many employees, yeah. yeah, they have many employees, they ships and all that, yeah. so you find um, a, a, a person will, will have multi- Multiple partners. Yeah, yes. yeah multiple. multiple. At the That's same the workplace. Multiple partners at the same workplace. Okay. Or even have one mm -hmm. at one particular time. But the moment they the person it's is over. dumped, they pick up on another and exactly. so forth. Okay. So you find at times there is that um, spread of uh, HIV virus. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it, it goes around. And it's very it, it becomes very nasty, especially when now people get to know your yeah, status. Exactly. Yeah, when uh, you start falling ill, someone will be like, oh, in fact, I had. Exactly. Yeah, in fact, I had. Yeah. They were Not moving. They had a relationship with so and so. And you know, so and so status is not good in there, mm. you know? So, yes, you find it's not good having a romantic relationship at work. Yeah, I think that's the what more, for I me, think the more it's we not good. It. I wouldn't want, yeah. I wouldn't advise guys to have. Of course, they are there. Mm. You find yourself falling into one, mm -hmm. but uh, keep it at that. Keep yeah. it at that. Be aware because of Be aware. Risks. You'll have yeah. one person, but uh, if it goes on well, well and good. If uh, it's just a situation that you find yourself and you can't uh, proceed in the relationship, I wouldn't advise you pick on another. I know. Yeah. I wouldn't it, advise it, you it pick on another. Very mucky. Yeah. Because in a way, the, irrespective of the institution, mm. word, word goes out, you know. 
we, we, yeah. we don't live in islands. Yeah. People are, are able to observe. Yes. Sometimes you think that you're actually hiding something, but everybody can see very clearly that you treat the person see. differently. People see and they smell. Yeah, they, yeah, they yes. sense, they smell. They smell. They, yeah. All their senses are alert. They, yeah. All their senses are at work. <laughs> so people are watching you. Yes, people are watching brother. you. <laughs> Forget even about the sensitivity. Just people are seeing how you are you're exactly. moving around. Yes. You know? yes. Yeah, so anyway, I guess we have to leave it to the individual to decide. To decide. Because you know you cannot say... You cannot force some mm. a decision on somebody, mm, mm, but mm, it's good mm. to be aware that these are the kind of situations that yes. arise at the yes, workplace. Arise. So that if you decide to get into it, mm. you're you're getting into it informed. Yes, you're getting it exactly. You're, you're not being caught unaware. Yes. Yes. You're not discovering that oh, I have this disease, I have this STD, I mm. have this HIV. Mm. When it's so late, mm. and then at that point you start talking to people to discover that oh, this person is even known to be uh, like. And you find yourself say, and you find yourself you find yourself saying, uh, and I had. In fact, I heard about, I even don't know how I found myself into it. It's Satan. <laughs> At times, it's not. <laughs> the devil is blamed for all sorts of things. At, At times, it's and not I, Satan. And, and I, I blame but him too. I blame him too. It's his fault, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's always good to have that spirit that you can sense something is uh, not okay. You can sense that this relationship is headed nowhere. Yeah. Let's just remain as colleagues. Mm. Let's just uh, remain as the friends, yes, but uh, not to overdo it. Exactly. And especially meeting outside. And if at all, people meet out, outside. We're not going to say that people should not go for coffees and all that. Yeah, you cannot but have the self-control. Because it's from, exactly, it's from uh, the uh, coffee dates and all that, mm. that something uh, grows up to be guys are lovers and all that. But if someone is married, um, keep it aside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it aside. I think generally as a country, we need to really up our game when it comes uh -huh. to our value system. You know? How? <laughs> because... <laughs> You see, uh, the fact that all these things are happening, even spouses coming to offices, mm. it just really speaks to the fact that the, 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 the value system is very broken. Yeah. And that's something that should really be addressed. That's what I was saying earlier, mm. that HR should consider maybe training about mindset, mm. trying to influence people, mm -hmm. not just about performance, but also about your personal life, your boundaries, yes. Issues like self control, values, character, yeah. character yeah. education, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's these are things that are not taught in school. Having such programs whereby uh, their dependents are involved, yeah. it's very, very, it's very, very essential yes. and very recommended for organizations to, to do that. At least maybe once or twice in a year, they have a family uh, get together where oh employees, yeah, yeah such, uh, such programs, to you will get, yeah. yeah. get to see. Exactly. Get to see. And another thing is, you know, um, this romantic relationship at the workplace, we've Tend to, we've tended to focus in our discussions mm. a lot on the corporate space. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, do they also happen in other, in, in let's say, in uh, institutions, mm. in even religious bodies, mm. the church? Mm. You know, what what can you say about that? <laughs> of course, romantic relationship is everywhere. And you see, we keep reading about it in newspaper. Yeah. Yes, yes, even yes, in yes. school, even in school, Between even anyway. from a teacher to yeah, a pupil, I mean, a teacher yeah. to it's a terrible. student, yeah. yeah, romantic relationships are everywhere, <laughs> and uh, even in uh, our churches. You know, I'm laughing. Yeah. Uh, even as I'm oh, talking laughing. about that, I'm, yes. I'm remembering about um, <laughs> people in high places. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we've heard about. The yeah, we have read from about the print medias and oh, also we, on the screen. We've even heard about the French president and uh, I'll just leave it at that. Uh -huh. I just thought it, when you talked about the age gap in <laughs> the school, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say anything. You didn't say, you said nothing. Now, uh, yeah, they are there even in our churches. Yeah. yeah, in our churches they are there because you find, especially for these who ha work full time mm -hmm. in churches, I mean, people fall in love. Yes. People fall in love. And you know, sometimes you it know, works out positively. Yes, at, at times it works out. Which but is, I mean, that should rare. be the it's intention. Very rare, but it's but there are those examples. Yeah, you know. the examples are yeah. there as well. Yeah. Even in the in every industry. Yeah. Reason being that's where we spend most of our hours. Exactly. You spend most of our yeah. hours with this particular person. Yeah. yeah? So there are those they, they, they are feelings that are developed and uh, you know, you have a, a shoulder to cry it. on. Yeah. Even those who are married will be like, you know, this is what I'm going through. My wife is just doing that. Like yesterday, she didn't even give me uh, dinner. Again, she didn't even cook for me. If mm. anything, I just get into the <laughs> house and she tells me, find yourself, uh, find yourself in the kitchen. Don't you know how to cook? Mm -hmm. And sometimes, so especially men, if they are not well received in their homes, mm -hmm. where do they find solace? They will find solace in a female, a, f a female staff or a female friend who exactly. will. And you know, at times we come uh, into that. Oh no, have my shoulder. That's all she did. Come on, that's just how it pass starts. by my yeah. house. I'll cook for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Eh, <laughs> Sunday <laughs> we and you will be cooked for seriously. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. that it leads to another and another and another. So even in churches it happens. Yes. From different going departments. For even. Going for counseling mm -hmm. because uh your wife is not doing one, two, three, four, and who is counseling you? It's a she yeah, or a female a female pastor. By themselves. Yes, maybe. by themselves. Mm -hmm. So uh, you go for this visit, another visit, she's following up. Then you attach and how are the things yes. now? Are you now good? And now, oh that's what is happening. So don't worry, you can see me tomorrow. It continues like that. And, uh, yeah. Now the, it moves from the counseling to now having other issues in the in the office. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we have had such such cases. So romantic <sighs> relationships are everywhere. Mm. And uh they can be controlled. That's what I can say. Yeah. They can be controlled. They can be controlled yeah. because the spillover effects, the side effects, especially the negative ones, mm. they are just terrible. Because I mean, and I think it also becomes an, a great burden on the HR. Mm -hmm. you know, Look at even in our homes, yeah. our house managers could be the gardener. Oh my God, that's a shamba boy. That's the so-called shamba also boy. Workplace. It's a workplace. And you that's might be having a yes. house help, and you might be having a gardener. And you don't even know, oh, you know, you're not there. I'm not a marriage place. counselor, and this uh, show is not on marriage, or rather, this program is not uh, <laughs> <laughs> on marriage. But you'll find at, uh, at our homes, we have the house girl doing everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ironing, doing one, two, three, four. By the mm -hmm. time you are, the husband is coming to the house, you are not even in the house. What happens? You well, know? So it is that uh, if the romantic relationship, it's, every, it's, it's everywhere. It's a matter of just putting measures. Yeah. And of course, now the wife of the house or the woman of the house get to know this is the time for my husband. Mm -hmm. this, when he comes, this is what he likes to be done and so forth. And not always saying, eh, take the pelekea baba nani, baba flani maji. Where, what are you doing? Uh, you are letting baba flani be taken maji by a house girl. What are you doing? What's your role? Yeah. So you find at times we let ourselves, mm -hmm. even at work, mm -hmm. how we are, how we dress, how we dress and address our seniors. Mm -hmm. Mana suggesting that yes, can you see me? You know. Okay. Yeah. There is no point when you are coming in, you are walking so straight, but when you are leaving the office, you are letting lose all <laughs> your body on how you are walking and so forth. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm just looking at People you and thinking that. Oh my God! I did not know that being a HR was <laughs> had so much to deal with. <laughs> In fact, you find even some men saying that she's the one who is bringing herself. She's the one who wants me. And I guess that's you why know, when you look so at some companies, they actually have like a stipulated dress code mm -hmm. just to try and control. Mm -hmm. I think those are measures to try and control some yes, of these situations. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess well. Uh, it's up to the viewer to just keep hearing what is positive, what they can pick from the show. Yeah, what can they yeah, can pick from the show, Yeah, right. maybe something they can learn, you know, because mm. honestly, when it comes to total control, it is not possible. Total it's control, not, yeah. it's, it's, it calls for self-discipline. Yeah, it's a very personal issue. Yes, it's, it's a, a personal, personal decision. Yes. It's a personal decision, yeah. but we need to know, yes, it happens. But again, um, the aftermath is what is nasty. Yeah, the aftermath is yeah, actually nasty. Yeah. Yeah. And though there are some positive situations that arise, mm. they tend to be very rare. So, well, you never know. You know, sometimes as humans, we tend to, to, to be very um, generous with ourselves. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we think, uh, may this relationship that I'm in, mm -hmm. it's going to be that rare one. Yes, you know? yes. But it's good to enter knowing that they are very, they are very, they are very, the cons seem yes. to be more. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, okay. So maybe we can give a parting shot and then we can be able to wrap up the show. Wow. Um, yeah. I think what I'll tell the viewers is uh, if you find yourself in a romantic uh, romantic relationship at work and uh, what we have said at work will be anywhere, it could be at corporate, it could be even in the public sector, it could be in our homes and all that, have self-control. Have self-control. Yeah. Let's not find ourselves like uh, what Adam and Eve did and when God visited them because God was visiting them during the day, what uh, would be like, uh, why are you hiding and all that? They, they freaked out because they know they had already done a mess. So let's not practice sexual sin and uh, we can, it's possible to live holy or to live a celibacy life. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for joining us. It was a pleasure to have you. And uh, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The handle is GBS Kenya, so that you can be able to watch our previous shows as well. Josephine, thank you so much. It was a You're great welcome. pleasure to have you. Thank you. And, uh, thank you. Yes, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Vio. Bye. Thank you, bye.